there is a change in the seasons, either from fall to winter or spring into summer, some individuals may experience certain changes in their moods and physical well-being. A common term used for these feelings is the winter blues. Depending on the individual, these changes may be an indicator of a certain disorder termed by medical and mental health professionals as Seasonal Affective Disorder, abbreviated as SAD. In this lesson, we will cover what Seasonal Affective Disorder is, the types of Seasonal Affective Disorders that an individual may experience, common symptoms associated with this disorder, and common treatment options. Please note that nothing in this lesson is meant to diagnose an individual with this condition. Diagnosis should only be done by a licensed medical or mental health professional. According to many medical and mental health professionals, seasonal affective disorder is a type of depression that is characterized by a recurrent seasonal pattern. Scientists, medical, and mental health professionals are still studying the potential causes of SAD, but some of the common hypotheses include a reduction in activity from the neurotransmitter serotonin. This brain chemical helps regulate a person's mood. An increase in the body's production of melatonin. This is a hormone that helps maintain the body's sleep-wake cycle. A lack of vitamin D. Vitamin D is commonly found in many of the foods we eat and gets produced in the body when our skin is exposed to sunlight. Due to the lack of sunlight in the winter, some individuals may not produce the same amount of vitamin D as others. Vitamin D is also believed to help with the promotion of activity for serotonin in the body, and changes in the body's circadian rhythm due to reduced levels of sunlight during the winter. The diagnosis of this type of depression should only be made by either a licensed medical or mental health professional. Typically, when diagnosing an individual, many medical and mental health providers will look at the following criteria. Does the individual have symptoms of major depression or more specific symptoms associated with SAD? Have the depressive episodes occurred during specific seasons for at least two consecutive years? Please note that the National Institute of Mental Health does acknowledge that not all individuals with SAD experience symptoms every year. Or are the episodes much more frequent than the other depressive episodes that the person may have had at other times of the year during their lifetime? As previously mentioned, there are two types of seasonal affective disorder that an individual may experience. These types include Winter Pattern SAD when an individual experiences depressive episodes during the fall and winter months. And summer pattern sad, when an individual experiences depressive episodes during the spring and summer months. Just as with other medical or mental conditions, there are some risk factors that may indicate either an increase or decrease in a person's chances of developing sad. These risk factors include Genetics A family history where one or more people in the family have experienced SAD Geography Studies conducted for SAD have shown that SAD affects more people who live in northern and far southern locations than those who live in areas that are located near to the equator where there is really no change in the amount of sunlight the areas receive. Vitamin D deficiency and a history of certain mental conditions such as a diagnosis of major depression or bipolar disorder. For some individuals, the symptoms commonly associated with SAD may be shared with those of major depression, which include feeling depressed most of the day, nearly every day, losing interest in activities that you once enjoyed, experiencing changes in appetite or weight, having problems with sleep, feeling sluggish or agitated, having low energy, experiencing feelings of hopelessness or worthlessness, having difficulty concentrating, or having frequent thoughts of death or suicide. For winter pattern sad, individuals may also experience additional symptoms, which may include oversleeping, sometimes referred to as hypersomnia, 
a craving and overeating of carbohydrates. Weight gain and social withdrawal. Some people have explained this as they felt like they were hibernating. For summer patterns sad, individuals may also experience additional symptoms, which may include trouble sleeping, sometimes referred to as insomnia, having a poor appetite that leads to weight loss, feelings of restlessness and agitation, anxiety, and having episodes of violent behavior. Note, individuals should not self-treat but speak with a licensed medical or mental health provider who can help in the development of a treatment plan. Treatment may include a mixture of treatment options. Just as with other medical and mental conditions, there are different treatment options available for individuals experiencing SAD. Common treatment options include, but may not be limited to, light therapy or phototherapy, vitamin D supplements, cognitive behavioral therapy or talk therapy, or medication. To conclude, Seasonal Affective Disorder, SAD, is a type of depression that is still being studied by both scientists and mental health professionals. The changes that a person experiences with this type of depression can range from minor to severe and can be experienced any time of the year. The symptoms of this disorder can mimic or are extensions of other mental disorders, such as major depression. If you have concerns about seasonal affective disorder, please speak with a licensed medical or mental health provider. I'm McKenna, your safety trainer, reminding you to be careful and safe out there. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please visit our YouTube channel for more safety training. Also, follow us on social media for OSHA updates, free safety webinars, reminders on safety tips, techniques, and more. What are you waiting for? Like, follow, or subscribe today. And stay safe out there.